welcome you all we'll start the class now okay diksha am i audible diksha am i audible yes sir okay okay mm -hmm. right we'll start okay in last class we discussed uh, these all underlined points now we are moving ahead and today we will be covering deflection of simply supported beam and cantilever beams okay here they have not specified any particular method which method we have to use for slope deflection of a simply supported beam and cantilever but it is very clearly mentioned that we have to do for simply supported beam and cantilever only this is clearly mentioned but by which method they have not mentioned okay today's topic is this blue underline okay now first we'll understand what is the slope and deflection later we'll come to the topic right now, now here either it is cantilever beam like this or it is simply supported beam this way okay any one of these when we apply load it will bend when we apply load this will bend how it will bend let us consider the cantilever will bend like this and simply supported beam will bend like this right now at a particular point if i consider this point this is a original blue line is a original line and red line is the after bent line okay after applying load it will bend now this vertical distance between the original point and the bent point then this distance is called as a deflection it is deflection right now what is slope at this point if i draw a tangent if i draw a tangent in comparison with the original line whatever the angle is there that angle is called as a theta slope in cantilever i'll show it once again this is a cantilever bent beam and this much bent won't be there that's why it is shown in the first figure but for understanding purpose i will draw here one tangent this tangent is drawn and original line is horizontal and this angle is called as a theta and the distance between the original beam and the bent point that point deflected point is called as a deflection now you understood the word meaning of slope and deflection in cantilever but in simply supported beam there is a point here if i draw a slope tangent then whatever the angle is there with respect to x axis that is your theta slope and the vertical distance from the original beam is called as a deflection okay now this is the meaning of slope and deflection now in exam what they are interested you know what they want to know from us is the beam is there or it is a simply supported beam they are interested in two things one very common thing is the elastic curve now this bent shape is called as elastic curve they want to know the maximum deflection maximum deflection see in cantilever maximum deflection is deflection is always where always at free end at free end always it is whatever the type of load whatever the combination of load but maximum uh, this one can uh, maximum deflection will be always cantilever one minute enu helthidana i shared a jam file with meeting what is that ankan gowda
ओके नो प्रॉब्लम विल कंटिन्यू नाउ इन सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम इफ आई ड्रॉ अ डिफ्लेक्टेड कर्व देन द मैक्सिमम डिफ्लेक्शन विल बी समवेयर आई डोंट नो बट दे आर इंटरेस्टेड इन मैक्सिमम डिफ्लेक्शन in cantilever i can make a conclusion that it is always at the free end but in simply supported beam it is not sure that the maximum deflection is in the center okay that is not sure then in simply supported beam maximum deflection where it will be that depends maximum uh, deflection depends on depends on the load depends on the load right uh? these common conclusions we are interested and uh, after that we need to determine equation for that or we need to find some values for that then how to determine all that we are going to see today okay now we'll come to the notes this is a deflection and coming to why we want to calculate the deflection okay. that is you are interested but now it is only one answer because this is there in the syllabus okay we have many reasons why we are finding the deflection that will be covered in uh, your uh, uh, ug you know while writing uh, university exams that is required but uh, for us it is required for our syllabus but if you want to see some answers then you can go through this theory now see here to determine the deflection slope and deflection we have many methods out of those that uh, that those methods are listed here first one is a double integration method that is without the use of singularity function don't worry about this just we will remember double integration method and mckellar's method with the use of singularity function nothing to worry about this but usually these two are somewhat same double integration method and mckellar's method both are same why it is called as double integration and why it is called mckellar's separately that we will discuss later then after that we have a moment area method this moment area method and this conjugate beam method both are brothers you know they will go hand in hand then after that we have method of superposition then castiglino's theorem and work uh, strain or work energy this is your uh, you know, strain energy chapter strain energy okay we are using the concept of strain energy to to uh, determine slope and deflection that is your castiglino's theorem first and second and work or uh, this one work method or energy method here we will be having unit load method etc right huh? these methods are there to determine slope and deflection now if you want to divide them then the methods of to find the deflection we have double integration method geometrical method energy methods double integration method here you will get a mckellar's method mckellar's method correct right? then geometrical method we have moment area method and the conjugate beam method these two are called as geometrical method then energy concepts strain energy method in that one castiglino's theorem and virtual work method castiglino's theorem here we have two types that is castiglino's first theorem and second theorem two theorems are there in virtual work method virtual work method itself and the second one is unit load method unit load method right these are methods to determine slope and deflection right now what are the assumptions we have to make in slope finding the slope and deflection these assumptions are exactly same which is discussed in the previous class just we will read them beams are initially straight the uh, the material is homogeneous and isotropic and the stress strain relationship is linear and elastic linear and elastic means stress strain curve if i draw then this zone is called as a linear elastic means hooks law is valid hooks law is valid okay then young's modulus is uh, same in the tension and compression section is symmetrical about the plane of bending and everything is explained yesterday also therefore the same assumptions we are making in this one right non uniform bending non uniform bending yesterday we got 
that pure bending and a flexure you know these two differences we got that is there here you can go through that now very interestingly this is the main equation for the slope and deflection the entire thing entire chapter it is here and this is only made a uh, uh, that authors are otherwise scientists uh, they have read this equation in a different 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 way therefore we have got many 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 methods the ultimate thing is ei into d square y by dx square is equal to mx is the ultimate equation used for slope and deflection how we got this one that yesterday we already known that one uh, explained but still i will consider today also okay now yesterday what we discussed m by i equal to f by y equal to e by r Got it? in this one if i consider the first and last one what happens m by i equal to e by r this will be then if i consider this one uh, m equal to e i into e i by r or you can say m by e i equal to 1 by r you can write like this or you can write m is equal to e i into 1 by r this is the main governing equation to solve slope and deflection what is 1 by r 1 by r is a curvature very interesting 1 by r is a curvature curvature and r is radius of curvature radius of curvature r is radius of curvature 1 by r is curvature then what is the meaning of 1 by r mathematically mathematically we know that 1 by r is d square y by dx square this is given by the mathematics now this is given by strength of material then i can equate these two then i can conclude that conclude that m is equal to e i into d square y by dx square this equation i will get okay m equal to e square d square y by dx square that is the main governing equation required for slope and deflection this is that. then what is d square y by dx square if anyone ask you then what is the meaning of d square y by dx square you straight away say that that is curvature curvature what is the meaning of curvature andra that beam or otherwise that elastic curve how much it is curved if it is curved like this then the curvature is more we will call then if it is bent like this curvature is less then curvature is less then curvature is less right huh? here i will show this is high, highest curvature less curvature less curvature very much less curvature less curvature this is infinite curvature curvature is infinite Cur uh, sorry curvature is very very less zero this is zero curvature this is zero curvature no curve it is straight line okay it is assumed that it will uh, make a circle in infinite length then what about this this is highest high curvature high curvature then this dot is a infinite curvature infinite curvature understood huh? now look at here this is this line is zero curvature then what is the radius of curvature huh? if this is curvature is zero means one by r is equal to zero then r is equal to infinity Correct means this question they will ask if the curvature is zero then radius of curvature is infinite if the curvature is infinite then radius of curvature is zero you have to understand this one this one means this is a radius this one means this is the radius like that as the curvature curvature and radius both are inversely proportional that you can remember and this mathematical equation that whatever i have done here this all the things whatever i have done here 
that is uh, that uh, systematically written from here to here and it is concluded that e i d square y by d x square equal to moment at any point x okay that's why we have got these expressions yesterday i already discussed y means deflection once differentiation will give you theta again differentiation will give you bending moment again differentiation give you shear force again differentiation give you shear force and uh, shear force intent uh, density shear force density or load now integration of load shear force integration of shear force bending moment integration of bending moment slope integration of slope deflection double integration of shear force uh, sorry load is a bending moment double integration of shear force is a slope double integration of bending moment is a deflection right up. next double differentiation of deflection is bending moment double differentiation of slope is shear force double differentiation of bending moment is load now you concentrate on this line concentrate on this line double integration of bending moment is deflection once again double integration of deflection is deflection double integration of bending moment double integration of bending moment is deflection this is Michaelis method Michaelis method means take a bending moment equation in terms of x integrate it again integrate it you will get a deflection once again you concentrate on this one see here bending moment equation only once integrate you will get a slope twice integrate you will get a deflection okay slope and deflection chapter is over that's why they call it is a double integration method that is your v is there mx is there and that we will do it right on. now the step by step procedure is written this we will study when we appear for paper 2 right on. now very interesting some uh, boundary conditions you should understand you should know the boundary conditions for that one i will explain in a different page look at here if this is a cantilever then this is your elastic curve this is your elastic curve okay, no? the boundary condition means this point and this point or this point always look at here whatever the load you apply here point load or udl moment whatever you apply this a point will not move anywhere it is not moving upward it is not moving downward therefore deflection at a is always zero for cantilever is always zero for cantilever now at this point if i draw a tangent with a green line look at here with the green line if i draw tangent that tangent will be horizontal line that tangent will be horizontal line therefore theta at a is also zero slope and deflection both are zero at a point in the cantilever this is very 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 interesting okay and in cantilever y at free end is always maximum theta at cantilever free end is always maximum this is your boundary condition for cantilever correct now coming to simply supported beam this is your simply supported beam then it will bend like this it will bend like this then the boundary conditions are something like uh, i'll consider this point this point whatever the load you apply on the top this a point will now will not therefore y at a is always zero 
then this point is also it will not go upward or it will not go downward therefore y at b is always 0 conclusion right huh? now i don't know where the maximum deflection is there really i don't know let us consider this is a y max this is y max then if i draw tangent at y max if i draw tangent at y max that is a horizontal line if i draw tangent at y max that is a horizontal line therefore where y max exists there there theta is 0 where theta is 0 Correct? these are boundary conditions you have to by heart without them this chapter is very difficult any doubts in this one Okay, now no doubts, we'll go ahead. Boundary conditions means what? Without any methods, without any extra efforts, we can conclude these things by using some common sense that they are called as boundary conditions. See here, it is already mentioned. Here, see that is clamped or built in support built in support or fixed end that is point a point a their deflection is zero slope is zero moment is not zero that is uh, infinite values don't worry about that then at free end at free end you will be having that value this is there and this is there okay don't worry about these values there will be this one and moment is zero very important next coming to simply supported beam simply supported beam at this point slope is zero, sorry deflection is zero moment is zero deflection is zero moment is zero but wherever there is a maximum there y max will be there at that point theta is equal to zero this one also you can remember okay this is not required this is not required this is not required now as uh, in the syllabus uh, it is mentioned you can go through the syllabus it is mentioned what simply supported simply supported and cantilever only simply supported and cantilever only they have mentioned that's why we have these many types of problems the first one is cantilever these three are cantilever cantilever beam with the point load at the free end Cantilever beam with UDL. Next, cantilever beam with the applied moment at free end. Okay, cantilever is over. Simply supported beam with the point load at its middle point. This is over. Simply supported beam with the point load not at its middle point. This is over. Simply supported beam with UDL throat. This is over. Simply supported beam with the triangular load. Load. Gradually varied load. Simply supported beam. Either like this. Or like this. This is over. Simply supported beam with the moment at mid span. This is over. Simply supported beam with continuous distributed load, uh, the intensity of which at x point is this one. This is some somewhat complex problem. No problem. You can ignore it or by heart it. Right? Huh? Now one by one we will solve it. Okay. Now interestingly, I will show you only one problem how to solve by using. Uh, double integration method how to solve by using momentary method 
how to solve by using conjugate beam method only one method one problem i will show which is very important or which is very easy then later we have to buy hard the things correct huh? because we are, we are preparing for paper one hmm? now look at here double integration method double integration method a cantilever beam point load p then this is a length l then this is x x then this distance is x greater okay now you have to write moment x moment at x that is your bending moment at x what is the bending moment at x that is m at x equal to minus p into x greater minus p into x idan yarig barak bartadalla avarge double integration method bart mugit idu yar tapp bartara avardu answer tapp bart idanu barak bantandra new shanner idre antara mugit sridha mundaldu just a mathematics now what i have to do double integration method means what once integrate and once again again integrate then integration of moment equal to minus integration of px then minus as it is integration of px is what p as it is x integration is x square by 2 plus c1 c is the constant this is once integration means what slope slope bunt now another again integrate again integrate means what this one again integrate or double integration of moment is equal to minus p by 2 as it is then again integrate x square is x cube by 3 plus c1 is c1 x plus c2 is then you will get one more constant c2 this is your deflection this is deflection equation this is slope equation theta equation right? but here we don't know what is c1 and c2 we don't know what is c1 and c2 solve for c1 and c2 by boundary condition by boundary condition okay boundary conditions means what cantilever is there cantilever means what are the boundary conditions where x equal to here is x x is moving like this this is very interesting very important understanding x is starting from here and moving in this direction therefore where x equal to l y equal to 0 this is one condition another condition is where x equal to l theta equal to 0 two conditions will come now you use the, those conditions in the first in the second equation we will use x equal to l y equal to 0 okay we will we'll use this one first this one first in this equation that is theta equal to that is equal to 0 that's equal to minus p x square by 2 plus c1 x means what l p l square by 2 plus c1 therefore c1 equal to p l square by 2 p l square by 2 get up now what is your theta equation now theta equal to theta equal to minus minus p x square by 2 plus p l square by 2 always don't forget about uh, uh, ei you know 
that ei will come that we can consider later this is your theta equation when c1 is known you can find out c2 c2 for c2 x equal to l then y equal to 0 therefore y equal to 0 x equal to x equal to minus p l cube by 3 into 2 minus p l cube by 6 plus c1 l c1 is p l square by 2 into l p l square p l square by 2 into l and p l cube by 2 p l cube by 2 plus uh, c2 therefore c2 equal to the answer this will be that side p l cube by 6 minus p l cube by 2 1 by 6 minus 1 by 2 1 by 6 minus 1 by 2 lcm 6 then this is 1 then this is 3 that is your minus uh, 2 by 6 that is minus 1 by 3 the answer is minus 1 by 3 that is pl cube by 3 is c2 therefore y equal to y equal to minus px cube by 6 minus px cube by 6 plus pl square by 2 into x plus sorry minus pl cube by 3 this is y equation okay now what you want why we want this big equation because we want we want slope and deflection at free end we want this distance and uh, we want this slope this slope this is y b this is theta b y b theta b where you will get where x equal to 0 this is your x equal to 0 therefore therefore at uh, x equal to 0 we get uh, theta b therefore theta b is equal to plus pl square by 2 ei last ei barud because integration olaga baradra tough agutte then at x equal to 0 we get yb therefore yb equal to yb equal to this is gone this is gone minus pl cube by 3 ei this is a deflection this is a slope right now in paper 2 in uh, what uh, your uh, ssc je paper 2 one derivation whatever we did out of these uh, eight is fixed question paper 2 or paper 1 or the you can buy heart it now because they are not asking any method therefore you can buy heart it now whatever i did it till now whatever i did till now is for this one then you can see the conclusion you can go through this one you can go through this notes you will come to know this is the word theta and slope i will tell you a hint that hint is p l mal moru kelag moru ei is your y and theta mal eradu kelag eradu is your theta and is your deflection right this you can remember side by side we'll make a notes that cantilever beam cantilever beam point load theta b pl square by 2 ei yb pl cube by 3 ei correct this is over
now second one cantilever with udl cantilever with udl means same procedure we have to solve as i told you that if you know how to write this mx then everything is clear therefore you will solve that integrate and derive those things then you will get this one okay male nalku kelage ent adu double male more ittandra kelage r idu double idu double double point load idra single single see the that we will write here udl theta b pl power l cube by 6ei double at yb pl power 4 by 8ei double at devaru baal valle irthana dodda dodda derivations el irthana nodu alli kandideka ondu nenpidaka easy easy method maad kottirthana ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಣ್ಣು ತೆಗೆದು ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಹ್ಮ್ ನೌ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ರೀ ಎಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಇದು ಬರೆಯಕ್ ಬಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಈಜಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಬರೆಯಕ್ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಮುಗಿತು ದೆನ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಲ ಎರಡು ಕೆಳಗೆ ಎರಡು ಮ್ಯಾಲ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ತಿಳಿತಾ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ना एक्चुअली इधन यहाँ के नियन पढ़ती नंदरा मोमेंट आई विल राइट इट हियर सी हियर यू रिमेम्बर लाइक मी दैट इज मोमेंट देन थीटा बी एम एल स्क्वायर बाय एम एल बाय ई आई वाई बी एम एल स्क्वायर बाय टू ई आई नोड मोमेंट और चिकन आधी किंता दर्दा वा पॉइंट लोड आधी किंता दर्दा वा ಯಾರು ಯು ಡಿ ಎಲ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಲ ಎರಡು ಅಲ್ಲ ಮ್ಯಾಲ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಮ್ಯಾಲ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಅಥವಾ ಮ್ಯಾಲ ಒಂದು ಕೆಳಗೆ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಎರಡು ಆಯ್ತು ಮ್ಯಾಲ ಎರಡು ಕೆಳಗೆ ಎರಡು ಮುಗಿತು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಬಂದ್ರ ಇವ ಇವನ್ಕಿಂತ ದೊಡ್ಡವ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಇವ ಏನಂತನ ಮ್ಯಾಲ ಎರಡು ಕೆಳಗೆ ಎರಡು ತೀಟಕ ಇವ ಮೂರು ಮೂರು ಅಂತನ ಬಟ್ ಇವರಿಬ್ರು ಒಂದ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅಣ್ಣ ತಮ್ಮರು ಇದ್ದಂಗ ಅದ್ರ ಯಾಕೆ ಹೇಳು ಎಂಡಿಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟೈತೆ ಇದು ಎಂಡಿಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟದು therefore 1 1 2 2 but you are dodda annala andre salage 2 2 3 3 but you avun kinta dodda va yaru you avun kinta dodda va adike yenu antana 3 3 4 4 alla 3 6 4 8 3 6 4 8 mug it can't leave her aramai bahe takira right huh? now we will come to this is not required simply supported beam fourth one fourth one simply supported beam with the point load in the middle then again i told you that if you know how to write mx then everything will be known idu nee worry madkonad beda later we will study it then your dodda mandi ivaru simply supported beam nar andre ivaru h nar ivaru ang hint hint sab sigangilla sal kashta padbeku later we'll make conclusion okay we'll make moment here then after that we'll write because our method first according to that notes this is the fourth one point load p correct this is l by 2 this is l by 2 now a b c very interesting theta a y a theta b theta c y c theta b y b correct then put go drink do you know any one of these four six by boundary condition on birth better first thing can you write any one of that any any of them hmm by using boundary condition sir y a and y b zero very good correct y a is zero y b is zero matte theta c zero very good theta there you will get a theta zero but here c is the only point where you will get a maximum 
therefore we can remember because this p is acting at the center therefore deflection will be at the center therefore these three i can write it easily return now we will go to the notes in the notes we have p l square by 16 ei return this is your theta at each end of p l square by 16 ei this is p l square by 16 ei then this is also same as symmetrical p l square by 16 ei this is symmetric then what about y c delta is p l cube by 48 ei p l cube by 48 ei ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೀಮ್ simply supported beam with uh, udl i will write later will come to point load now n in back theta a y a theta c y c theta b y b anyone zero same because this is also symmetric beam therefore i can write y a 0 y b 0 theta c 0 when i write this one then theta a i have to think correct huh? not this one this we will come it later we will go to udl first now here is it simply supported with beam with the udl if you know how to write m then we can do by double integration method then look at here theta is w l cube by 24 ei w l cube by 24 ei and modli patnaku hmm next this is same then this is also same w l cube by 24 ei correct huh? next coming to here 384 5 wl power 4 by 384 this is 5 wl power 4 by 384 ei correct now i will give you one hint here one hint but which will be in the next semester but still i will give you or sometimes some in common competitive exams they may ask extra you can write that is simply supported beam alla fixed beam fixed beam fixed beam ige baru bodana ille syllabus ige adru barustine yakandre idr jothige nan pidadu easy aagutte hmm now theta a y a theta c y c theta b ವೈ ಬಿ ಯಾರ ಯಾವ್ರ ಗೊತ್ತಿದ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಿರನ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ವೈ ಎ ವೈ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ then theta is also zero why because this is a fixed point fixed it under theta no zero delta no zero y no zero therefore this is also zero now zero as we go then what is our zero man theta theta c sir ah, theta c is also zero why because this will come like this then at this point maximum middle what the slope is zero therefore this is also zero then yc maj aithe illi yc is less than this or more than that tell me 5 wl power 4 by 384 er ei aithala now just you tell me 
simply supported beam UDL and fixed beam UDL. Yard beam olagade, yaw beam only maximum deflection bertha compare matter. Just the other dirt, simply supported dirt, fixed dirt. Simply supported just the other. Therefore, here I can write it. This is WL power 4 by 384 EI. This is change. This is the same thing. This That's why we wrote it nearby that. Next one. Next one. Next one. 24 calcium is not 24 Forza is 24 8 is 24 8 is 24 16 is ah. 24 is 24 is 24 double 48 Malatala 48 48. There is 48. There is 48. 48. 48. 48. 48. 48. Next, Yant Murle Ipatnako Yant Murle Ipatnako. Correct. Next, Ipatnak Yale Nalavat Tenta Nalavat Tent Hadnarle three eighty four. Not in Roman and Pedro. Hila by Hatak. Correct. Next. Next, uh, what we missed here, this point load, eccentric point load we have missed, this one, right on. for that one, I will draw that diagram, this is A, this is B, now very interestingly, here, deflection will be something like this, not too much, very near to this, this is different, this is different. This is not center. This is not center. Name of the This is not center. Yeah. This is Y max. This is YC. This is A, this is B. Now, what we want? Theta A, Y A. Theta C, Y C. Theta M, 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 max. Huh? Theta M, Y max. Theta B, Y B. Okay, now. Is to bake you. Our Gotta one is wrong. Our Gotta one. Why a zero? Why b zero? Kareta. Next. Theta m. Uh, theta m zero. Correct. He gives to candidate. For that we have a notes. In this one, simply supported beam. We'll write y max. Y max is pb. 9 by root 3 
पी बी नाइन बै रूट थ्री नाइन बै रूट थ्रील नोड़ीवल नेकोट्री एल स्क्वेर मैनस बी स्क्वेर एल स्क्वेर मैनस बी स्क्वेर बै इ पवर थ्री बै टू पवर थ्री बै टू बैट नेक्स्ट केस वन सी दे हेव प्रूव इट इफ ई सब्सिट्यूट एल एल बै टू दैन यू विल गेट फोर्टी एट ओके नो प्रॉब्लम दैट्स गुड थिंग देन वेर इज थीटा ए टीटा ये मिला टीटा इज नाट दैर नोट सिक्रा विल सैंड इन द ग्रूप करेक्ट वी विल कीप इट ब्लैंक नेक्स्ट coming to this one next one is uvl then theta a y a theta max and back here theta a equal to 0 where y max then theta b Y B, then you want distance where that maximum is there, you know? Distance where that maximum is there, that is also required. We'll see. No. Uh, to maximum deflection, they are they are concentrated to only maximum deflection. That maximum deflection is this one. 0.00652 wl per 4 by ei that is 0.00652652 wl per 4 by ei okay if you do inverse of this one what you will get 1 by Zero point zero zero six five two. That is, you can write it like W L power four by one fifty three, approximately one fifty three E I. Hmm. Then at what distance? At a distance point five one nine L. Point five one nine L. This is point five one nine L. Where there you will get a theta max. Simply supported beam with uh, uh, this one middle uh, moment. Middle moment for that uh, y will be this much. At x equal to a, then y equal to this one. That is m a by three i l. Y max m a by three i l into three a l minus three a l minus two a square minus l square. Okay, this you have to add. Then sine waves. If this load is sine sinusoidal wave. Then you will have maximum deflection. This one. That is W L power four by pi square e pi power four e i. This you can buy it. Right? Ah. Now we have done one span. Interestingly, one span and one type of load, either point load or U D L or U V L. Or eccentric point load. 
Michaelis method is there. No, this method you will use it when the beams are carrying combination of half UDL point load or half UDL point load and overhanging point load or half UVL point load then UDL. For these to determine, then you will use a Michaelis method. Michaelis method is Errabiri load kottaga mekale chalo load kotta double integration adika methods procedure adava ee procedures na vel follow madona paper 2 maduvaga solve madona correct nodi ille helidnala errabiri ille no point load kottan moment kottan udl kottan yaar bartar ille mechanism method Your cross check mark under. Illi then ka yendra doubt sidre kedre. Momentary method start mark dene. No doubt then we'll take a, a five minutes break then we'll continue Hmm. Now, either the application in a part and cantilever beam here. This application is very good. Look at here, we have a cantilever beam like this. Right, huh? Then this beam will bend like this. Okay. Procedure follow Madanega. First procedure in it, select two points in the cantilever. Correct. Huh? Select two points in the cantilever. Okay, I will select one point here, one point here. My interest now because interested point of interest in there. Therefore, one point here and one point here. Next in the draw tangent at the, those points. Okay, at this point, tangent draw madidre adi hing At this point, tangent draw madidre adu correct taiki beam nang goitu. Okay, our added the added procedure follow madidre. Then third one, read theta AB and theta. Theta AB is not slope, but it is between the angle of tangent and theta. Therefore, this is theta AB and theta. This birth takshna, we will get one interesting fact. Theta AB is nothing but theta B. This flash of the thing. Because theta b is what? Theta b is when cantilever is there, then deflection is there. Just you will draw one tangent here and this is theta b. Correct? Theta ab is what? That is the one tangent drawn here and one tangent drawn here. Then the intersect angle is theta ab. But fortunately, fortunately these two are same. When these two are same, then theta ab is nothing but area between area between m by ei diagram the area of m by ei diagram between problem look at here 
this is cantilever this is point load p this is l m by ei diagram is this one this is pl then area of m by ei diagram means this entire diagram will be divided by ei then area of m by ei diagram between a and b is nothing but half into pl by ei into l that is pl square by 2 ei correct okay that is area between this one is according to theorem that is theta ab according to common sense that is theta b therefore this is theta b nodu one step alo bantu mekele double integration method na guest what did you do it was a very big trial in mekele method or double integration method but moment area method one step correct now what moment area method that theorem 2 tells we'll see moment area method 2 momentary method 2 for that we will be having one beam then this beam will have elastic curve again mathe first procedure select two point select two point interest two point of interest next mathe en madbeku draw draw tangent at uh, one point and uh, draw vertical cut vertical cut at other point other point idu yerdne method baal important ide one method enanta yerd point select madbekanta madide yerdne drolage en helthana one the roll of a tangent to one roll of a vertical one point a tangent at the okay e point a tangent at the okay now you know the point again become the vertical at the end either can enter under a deviation under it is not deflection it is deviation even barrack on the method i think other than put water bodies deviation this is a and this is b deviation at b tangent drawn at a you wish to hang and put a bar so that you will understand delta x bar y and rain earth deviation at x tangent drawn at y and deviation at x tangent drawn at y and okay therefore we'll write it like this draw mode way Next moment area uh, M by EI diagram I tell you know then go on then go on then go M by EI diagram this is BMD or M by EI diagram then now you mark this one below A point you mark this one below B point then find a CG of that area then find the CG of that area now now delta b bar a is nothing but moment of moment of area between a and b what is the meaning of moment of area means area between a and b into perpendicular distance Perpendicular distance to where? Very important. Perpendicular distance to B. Correct? Where your deflection is desired? No. There. This is your very interesting. B may like that. All the name deflection. This is theorem 2. This is the theorem 2. This is theorem 2. Theorem 2 is the theorem 2. But this is the theorem 2. This is the theorem 2. Right? Hunger, Ilenitulaba, 
what is the use of this theorem 1 a nu labelle theta ab andre slope annu alla but cantilever band mele shanathana use maadi common sense use maadi theta b andre theta ab andre same anta ankondu adrad application thagondvi hanga theorem two linda deflection sigutano sigalla theorem 2 dinda yen sigutada andre adun use maadi nimage heng beka hang applications ode use maadidre then you will get a answer we will see for cantilever okay now look at here how i held the procedure follow madana now this is a point load this is m by i diagram correct this is your pl m by ei antandara therefore pl by ei ishtantu bantu okay one method en helda select two points on elastic curve anta this is your elastic curve on this one you want two points then my interest ala idu therefore i will take one point here one point here helda nodu nan nan interest itta adu salna ellare thagontini alle an thagonde illu an thagonde erdne point chanagithe idu odbeku draw tangent at one point innondu point olare vertical aagbeku one point olare tangent to one point olare vertical avaru helangilla yav point olare tangent aagbeku yav point olare vertical aagbeku anta theorem navaru helilla nan shanathana use maadi tangent ge ee point select maadkontini tangent ge ee point select maadkontini vertical ge ee point select maadkontini avaga dil kush because this is nothing but according to theorem that is deviation at b tangent drawn at a hoda but id nodi takshana dil kush yak aitu andra that is my yb very interesting that is my yb common sense hagadra delta b bar a is equal to yenu area between a and b into perpendicular distance to b madana half into pl by ei pl by ei into l is a area into cg illeda ee distance eshtada 2 third of l ada idu therefore 2 third of l 2 third of l aitha mugit en bantandra e2 e2 cancel p l cube by 3 i mugadoi this is actually according to theorem but according to common sense that is your yb over any doubt no doubt correct that's why moment area method is very good procedure for good method for cantilever beam matter ega simply supported beam you try man nodana chanagid nodu allunu kuda neevu helbek nodu nim common sense hengada athwa nim teli heng odutada nodana okay na alert agirri this is point load uh, sorry simply supported beam this is point load p m by ei diagram is this one the height of this triangle is pl by 4 therefore pl by 4 ei ei amel barana ad namel nen put kotta ashta now the deflection curve is this one ega according to theorem 1 according to theorem 1 select two points ll thogana meedri my intention is to determine theta a theta a kandidi bekigna correct ahead l thogana na
ಸರ್ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಗೆ ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ರಿ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಗೆ 1 ತಗೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ಎರಡು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತಗೋ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಾರಲ್ಲ ಅವರು 1 ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಸರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಓಕೆ ಡನ್ ಹಿಂಗೆ ತಗೊಂಡೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅವರು ಥೀರಮ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಎರಡು ಕಡೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಓಕೆ ಹಾಕ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಬಂತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಬಂತು ಓಕೆ ಎರಡು ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ಗಳ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಇದು ಇದು ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಸಿ ಇದು ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಓಕೆ ನನಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗೈತಿ ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಎನಿ ಕನ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಸಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರ ಹಿಂಗ್ ಬರಿತೀನಿ ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಸಿ ದೆನ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ತೀರಮ್ ಒನ್ ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಸಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಏರಿಯಾ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಹಾಫ್ ಇಂಟು ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ನಾಕ್ ಎಳ್ ಎಂಟ್ ಎಂಟ್ ಎಳ್ ಹದಿನಾರು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಇ ಐತಿಲ್ಲ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಗೆ ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಸಿ ಬಂದ್ ಮೆಕೆಲೆ ಮಾಡ್ದನ ಒಂದ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಎರಡ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಡಬಲ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇದು ಮುಗಿತಿಷ್ಟು ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಈಗ ಏನು ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕರ್ವ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ಈ ಎರಡು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಸೇಮ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಸರ್ ಎರಡು ಎಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈಗ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರ ಸರ್ ಹಾ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ನೋಡೋಣ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಕರ್ವ್ ಅದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತಗೊಂತೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತಗೊಂತೀನಿ ರೈಟಾ ಓಕೆ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಥೀರಮ್ ಟು ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಯಾವ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ಲಿ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀನಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀನಿ ನನಗ ಇದು ಸಿಗ್ತೈತಿ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎ ಬಾರ್ ಬಿ ಹೌದಾ ಇದು ಸಿಗ್ತೈತಲ್ಲ ಬಿ ಬಾರ್ ಎ ಇದು ಸಿಗ್ತದ ಬಟ್ ನನಗ್ ಬೇಕಾಗೈತಿ ಇದು ಹೌದಲ್ಲ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎರಡು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇವೆರಡು ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಥೀರಮ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ನಮಗ್ ಬೇಕಾದದ್ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಡ್ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಸಿಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಎರಡು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಹಾಗಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಒಂದ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಒಂದ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕು ನೀವಾ ಹೇಳ್ರಿ ಯಾವ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕು ಯಾವ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕು ಈಗ ನನಗ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ದ ಸಿಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ನನಗ್ ಇದು ಸಿಕ್ತು ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಥೀರಮ್ ಟು ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಸಿ ಬಾರ್ ಎ ಬಟ್ ನನಗ್ ಬೇಕಾಗೈತಿ ಇದು ವೈ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಗಕತ್ತದ ಇದು ಬಟ್ ನನಗ್ ಬೇಕಾಗೈತಿ ಇದು ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಒಂದು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸರ್ ನಮಗ ತೀಟಾ ಎ
ಹಂಗಾದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರಯಾಂಗಲ್ ಆಯ್ತ್ರಿ ಸರ ಇದು ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಇದು ತೀಟಾ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ನಮಗ್ ಸರ ಇಷ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡದು ಸಿಗ್ತದ್ರಿ ಅದ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ನೀವ್ ಹೇಳಕತ್ತೀರಿ ಇದಿಷ್ಟು ಅಂದ್ರ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಸಿ ಬಾರ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಹಂಗಾರ ಇದು ವೈ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರ ವೈ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಅದು ದೊಡ್ಡದು ಮೈನಸ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಸಿ ಬಾರ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಮಾಡೋಣ ರೀ ಇಷ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಬರ್ತದ್ರಿ ಬರ್ತದ್ರಿ ಬಟ್ ಅರ್ಧ ಪೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಒಂದ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಡಿರೇವೇಶನ್ ಆಗ್ತದ್ರಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ತಲೆ ಓಡಿಸಿದ್ರ ಇನ್ನೂ ಈಸಿ ಆಗ್ತೈತಿ ಉಲ್ಟ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಈ ಸಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕೋಣ ಸಿ ಒಳಗೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತ ನೋಡಿ ಸಿ ಒಳಗೆ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರ ಹಿಂಗ ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಎ ಒಳಗೆ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರ ಹಿಂಗ ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಈ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಏನ ನೋಡೋಣ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎ ಬಾರ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಬಾರ್ ಎ ಅಲ್ಲ ಎ ಬಾರ್ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ಇದು ಬಂತು ಮತ್ತೆ ನನಗ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ದ ಇದು ನನಗ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ ಇದು ಆರ್ ದೇ ಬೋತ್ ಸೇಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವೈ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಏರಿಯಾ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯಾವುದು ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಲ್ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಓಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಲ್ ಇರ್ತೈತಲ್ಲ ಅದು ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ನೌ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಹಾಫ್ ಇಂಟು ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಇಂಟು ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಹಿಡಿದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತನಕ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೂ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಟೂ ಟೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ 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 ಎಲ್ಲ ನಿನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸುಖ ಎಲ್ಲಮ್ಮ ನಿನ್ನ ಹಾಕೋದು ಎಲ್ 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 ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಏಳು ಎಂಟು ಎಂಟು ಏಳು ಹದಿನಾರು ಹದಿನಾರು ಮೂರು ನಲವತ್ತೆಂಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಇಯ ನಿಮಗೆ ನೋಡು ಹಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬಂತು ಈ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ಇಷ್ಟ ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ಓಕೆನಾ ನಾವು ಲೊಕೇಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ 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 ಒಂದ್ ನಿಮಿಷ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿವಲ್ಲ ಒಂದಿಷ್ಟ ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಸಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿವಿ ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿವಿ ತೀಟಾ ಬಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿವಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಇದನ್ನ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ನಮ್ಮ ಈ ಮೆಥಡ್ಲೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈಸಿ ಐತಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಅವ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡೋಣ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಲೋಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬೆಂಡಿ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಬರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ನೋಡೋಣ ಬಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಬಂತು ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಇದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಪಿ ಎ ಬಿ ಬೈ ಎಲ್ ಇದು ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಬರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಹ್ಮ್ ಹೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ಒನ್ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಲೋ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ನನಗೆ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ದೂರ ಐತೆ ಗೊತ್ತಬೇಕು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಬೇಕಿದೆ ನನಗೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬರ್ರಿ ಅದು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸಿಕ್ತಂದ್ರ ಹಾಕ್ತೀನಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ನಾವು ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಡ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟರಿ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟರಿ ಮೆಥಡ್ ನೀವು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನು ಹಾಕೋದು ಕಲ್ತ್ರ ಮೊಮೆಂಟರಿ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಬಹಳ ಈಸಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟಿಲ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ನೋಟ್ಸ
of bending moment diagram by EI. That is YB and Tundra area into perpendicular distance by EI. Hang Marcondo, how kella diagram baker Kaunimaga. Other triangle the area is to CG is to theory. Other key notes now, wherever a triangle the examples put an okay. Next uh, coming to this one, same bending moment diagram Burdu, other the calculation murder PLQ Muraiti Muraiti Maleradi Kalayaradi Kretala. Next either do Marcondara either. Mal Mura the Kelagara, Mal Nalka the Kelayenta the Kreta. Next to other point load, middle of the Kondra Adna Yentel Adna Ru and Adna Murle, Nalotent. Kreta the next to Idukumadara Yent Murle, Patna, Kilada, Ipatna, Kernalot and Nalotent to three eighty four eleven, five by three eighty. Okay. Method of superimposition is bad. Oh, method of superimposition and Momentary method, but the big problems are the problems. We'll come to conjugate B method. Conjugate B method is the if interesting as a law, a scientist again saluted with. No, no, I will write it here. Y equal to deflection, dy by dx is theta d square y by dx square is uh, bending moment d cube y by dx square is shear force d power 4 y by dx power 4 is load correct huh? no it's not like that namu beka geti Theta and deflection. Namuga theta baker matu deflection slope deflection baker. One do load diagram it tantu till cold. A load diagram of the shear force diagram hak boda hakak bartolo bartheti. A load diagram ye bending moment diagram hakak bartha bartheti. And the load diagram is the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. Conjugate beam is bending moment diagram is load of the bending moment diagram is considered as a load diagram. Then for that load diagram, shear force is considered as theta. A load diagram is bending moment considered deflection. Okay. If this is a simply supported beam with the point load, then bending moment diagram will be like this. E load again bantu, bending moment diagram bant. Bending moment diagram on the load diagram on the support quarter is in load model. This is the bending moment diagram become load. This is the beam conjugate beam. This is the conjugate beam. This conjugate beam is beam the shear force. This is the shear force at any point. At any point in conjugate beam gives slope at that point at that point in a real beam no and then a scientist right on. next are there either diagram and then other diagram get bending moment diagram a kirin at it. A load diagram of bending moment diagram a kira deflection birth. Hagadra bending moment at any point in conjugate beam gives deflection at that point at that point in real beam. Now, one very interesting, this is the interesting thing. 
ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಭೀಮ್ ಅದ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ರಿ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಭೀಮಿಗೆ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಲೋಡ್ ಅದ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ರಿ ಈ ಲೋಡ್ಗೆ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಂಡಿಡ್ತೀರಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ಕಂಡಿಡ್ತೀರಿ ಹಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡಿಡ್ದಾಗ ಆ ಭೀಮ್ ದು ಶಿಯರ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹೆಂಗರ ಬರ್ಲೇದ್ರಿ ಏನ್ ಚಿಂತೆ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿ ಹೆಂಗರ ಬರ್ಲೇದ್ ಬಟ್ ಈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ಎ ಇರ್ತೈತಿ ಇಷ್ಟಂತೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ಇರ್ತೈತಿ ಇಷ್ಟು ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ತದ ಇಷ್ಟು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಬೀಮ್ ಏನಿತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಏನಿತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಆ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಲೋಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಲೋಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅದ್ದು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಂಡಿಡಿದ್ರ ಆ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಂಡಿಡಿದ್ರ ಆ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ತೀಟಾ ಎ ಆಗ್ತದ ಈ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ತೀಟಾ ಬಿ ಆಗ್ತದ ಮುಗೀತ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ no doubt over now conjugate beam method momentary method aitu illi conjugate beam marbekadre ondishtu rules adavu aa rules galanna nodbeku okay conjugate beam marbekadre there are some rules those rules ki il practice madara neevu avanna bahya takki pl beam simply supported it than simply supported irutiti but ರಿಯಲ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಕಾಂಜುಗೇಟ್ ಹಿಂಗಿತ್ತಂದ್ರ ರಿಯಲ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಹಿಂಗಿತ್ತಂದ್ರ ಕಾಂಜುಗೇಟ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟಿಲಿಯರ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಆಕೈತು ನೆನ್ಪು ಇಟ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಫ್ರೀ ಆಗ್ತದ ಫ್ರೀ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ತೈತಿ ಓಕೆನಾ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಕಾಂಜುಗೇಟ್ ಬೀಮ್ ನೆನ್ಪು ಇಟ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಐತಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದ ಕಾಂಜುಗೇಟ್ ಬೀಮ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸೇಮ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿನೇ ಇರ್ತೈತಿ ಓಕೆನಾ ಬಟ್ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಅಂದ್ರ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಡೆಗೆ ಅದ್ರ ಪಕ್ಕದ್ದ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೂಲ್ ಈಗ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಐತಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಐತಿ ಒಂದ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಅದ ಒಂದ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅದ ಅದ್ರದ್ದು ಕಾಂಜುಗೇಟ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತದ ಇದು ಫ್ರೀ ಆಗ್ತದ ಹಿಂಜ್ ತೆಗೆದು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದ ಇದು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಓಕೆ ನೆನ್ ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫ್ರೀ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹಿಂಜ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಇವು ನೆನ್ ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಮುಗಿದೋಯ್ತು ನೀವು ಮುಂದೆ ಯಾವ ಥರ ಭೀಮ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೋದು ಈಗ ಈ ಭೀಮ್ ಆಗ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಈ ಭೀಮ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತದ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿಗ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿಗ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಬಂತ ಓಕೆ ಇವು ಎರಡು ಸೇಮ್ ಇವು ಅವು ಹೆಂಗಿರ್ತಾವ ಹಂಗ ಇರ್ತಾವ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡು ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಅದ ಇವೆರಡನ್ನು ಸೇಮ್ ಇಟ್ಬಿಡು ಇದನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಇದನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಇವು ನಡವರ್ಕ ಇದ್ದದ ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ ಉಲ್ಟಾ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರೆ ಉಲ್ಟಾ ಮಾಡೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಇದು ಗಾಳಿ ಆಗ್ತಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಡ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಆ ಕಡೆ ಫ್ರೀ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಫ್ರೀ ಮುಗೀತು ಇದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಇಟ್ಟನ್ನ ಹಂಗಾರ ಇದನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡೋಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿಡು ಇದು ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದನ್ನ ಫ್ರೀ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಡು ಮುಗಿಯತ್ತೆ ಕಾಂಜುಗೇಟ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಇಟ್ಟನ್ನ ಇದು ಖಾಲಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟನ್ನ ಖಾಲಿ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದನ್ನ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡು ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಇದ್ದನ್ನ ದೊಡ್
carries a point load W at the point C shown, the maximum deflection lies at point C. No, eccentric kai tado. Eccentric kida ga point C barangila. Hmm. Yes, sir. D, sir. D, D option is a correct one. Between B and C, that will be there. That's why I said this is bend. This is bend. This is hing bend. This is the maximum. This is the maximum. This is the yellow one. This is the maximum. Okay, therefore, in the span BC, that will be the answer. For a beam shown in the figure, the maximum deflection is. Ingaitana maximum deflection. Doddu yano Ramayana Mahabharataiti. Therefore, false. For the beam shown in the figure, the deflection at C is. Idha agbada? Idha 9 idha yeh alla. C. Next, for the beam shown, the maximum deflection lies at. This is the correct answer. From B. Now answer. A beam shown 2.45 when W is applied at the center of the beam. Andra, point load at the center. Answer. Point load at the center answer. Sorry. A yeah, option. Simply separated beam length L loaded with uniform loaded W. Then the maximum deflection is this. Lies at the center. Correct. Simply separated beam A. Uh, a of length L carries a center point load W. Center point load W. Another beam B of loaded UDL such that the total load of the beam is W. The ratio of the maximum deflection between A and B is one beam simply supported. I think that W is the Okay, now. In a one the beam, UD eleven there. Either the point load convert Madaga W Bartadanta Hagadra. Either the deflection, either the deflection, the ratio in and the kid. Malather the deflection no WLQ by forty eight EI. Calgal the deflection no WL power 4 by WL power 4 by Allah 5 WL power 4 by 384 EI. Okay. Yen band answer EI EI cancel. Nalotent one lay. Nalotent test lay. Three eighty four by forty eight. 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 Option A. B sir. B L the but till yeah yeah lula kate thala bandu. Hmm cancel laga valu valai wo. Yeah kya lula kate thala.
Hmm, no idea. No idea. This here, this W is capital W. When you come here, is a small W. To make this small W, two capital W, one the L in the Kasuga Vikni. Awaga small Idu into L cube kit. Awaga Idu Yenakiti, capital W kit. Capital W Adme, E W, E W cancel a kit. Anga E L, E L cancel a kit. How eight by five answer work the Ida. Any doubt? Right, huh? Now, maximum deflection of a cantilever beam of length L point load at the free end is. No, cantilever is magic. Mal the male more is the same as 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 the male more is the one did the one did it. Yaradidra Kalawa Yaradirti. Other Muridra Kalu Muridit. Wame Yaradidra Kalu Naka Girtati, Naki Dele, Kalayan Tigerti. Murid the Lara Girbudu. You can't deliver you. You bit bare our idro on Tagdak. Okay. Next. Maximum deflection of cantilever beam of length L uniform distributed load. Mal Mura the Kalu forty eight at the top. Mal Mura the Kalaga, you give some Mandilla tap, Mura the end together, tap, Mura the Mura the Kretetana, tapat. Hille, tell you what is W equal to WL and the Therefore, which option is right? This is also wrong, actually. This is also wrong. As per my interpretation, now you have to be careful and answer. W equal to W L andra. Idi na kiti thi. W. W into L into L cube hai. Andra idi na kiti W L power four hai. Andra mal mal kiti kya lagna end hai. Correct answer. Okay na. Next. Is no cantilever beam of AB shown in figure. The ratio of maximum deflection of A and B is Ido the problem is gate to the Edmar question. Madrid Namel Mar. Right? Almost problem saying it than re. Uh, oh, yeah, fixed brims, uh, fixed uh, yeah, equations as all fixed equations. Other melon a killer the product of Young's modulus E and moment of inertia I is flexural hmm? rigidity. This is bigger matter. This is W ada, this is L ada. This is W ada, this is two L ada. Ratio kira na. Simplest one will be A B same breadth, uh, depth, central carries a central load W as shown in the figure. The deflection of B will be dash as that of the A. Okay. First, this is the deflection is to W L by forty eight I. Either the deflection is to W 2L by uh, WL cube WL cube and uh, and more Adnar more nalo thent correct W 2L cube by 48EI Avagi denak thada W 2 cube 8 L cube by 48EI Therefore, Idu Matidu B will be in the killer role. Okay, Idu Delta Idu Y you want 
y a divided by y b is equal to is this to what to idu 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 what to ili n to what to and the male one do kera gada n to therefore y b equal to a times y a okay therefore here a times y a answer d is the correct answer correct any doubt oh kalla da nodi illi ha enadu b deflection of beam a will be dash as compared to yb okay yb ya ಎಷ್ಟು ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇ ಐ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇ ಐ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫೈವ್ ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ಎ ಬೈ ವೈ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಇದಿಷ್ಟು ಇದಿಷ್ಟು ಹೋಗಿಬಿಡ್ತೈತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಐದು ಉಳಿತೈತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಫೈವ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಎ ವೈ ಉಲ್ಟ ಕೇಳ ನೀವು ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಎ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ಎ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ ಬಿ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲಲ್ಲ ಎ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಆಸ್ ನೋ ಆಫ್ ಅಂದಿದ್ರ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಬರಿತಿದ್ದೆ ಆಸ್ ಅಂತಂದರ ಅವರು ಆಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರ ಒಂದ್ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತೈತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕದು ಆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಿಂತದು ಏಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಕ್ಕ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಬರುದಿಲ್ಲ ಅವ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ ಬರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ನು ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕದು ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕದು ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಯಾರ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಯಾರ ಲೈಟ್ ಅಂತ ನೋಡೋಣ ಓಕೆನಾ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಶಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ರಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಬಂದ್ ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ This is total load W, therefore small load to under WL power 4 by ATI. This is total load W, this is total load W, 180, 192, we have 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, therefore I can say A is C, A to C, correct? ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇಲ್ಲೈತಿ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಸಿಗೆ ಡಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇದಕ್ಕಿದ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಫ್ಗೆ ಎಫ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲೈತೆ ಸರಿ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಎಫ್ ಬರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಎಫ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಏನೇನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೇಳು ಇದನ್ನ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿವಿ ನಾವು ಹೌದಾ 
ಇದು ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇದು ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಬಟ್ ಇದು ಫೈವ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇದು ಒನ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರ ಇದು ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ತ್ರೀ ಏಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂದ್ರ ಯು ಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲು ಫೈವ್ ಯಾವ್ದದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಅದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಸರ್ ಬೀಗ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಇದು ಕ್ಯಾಂಟಿಲಿವರ್ ಹಾಂ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಬೀಗ ಯಾವುದು ಸಿಗ್ತದೆ ಈಗ ಎ ಹೋಗಿಬಿಡ್ತದ ಬೀಗ ಎ ಹೋಗಿಬಿಡ್ತದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ ಬೀಗ ಎ ಹೋಗ್ತದ ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಮುಗೀತು ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಮುಗೀತು ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಮುಗೀತು ಇದು ಯು ಡಿ ಎಲ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಹಾಕಿದ್ವೇನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಏ ಹೌದು ನೀ ಹೇಳದ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇತ್ತು ಸಿಗೆ ಡಿ ಬರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬೇಟಾ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಉಳಿದಿದ್ದು ಯಾವ್ದು ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಐತಿ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಇದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಒನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಟು ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಡನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಟಾರ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಟಾರ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದ ಅದು ಇನ್ನು ಶನಿವಾರ ಅದ ಟಾರ್ಷನ್ ನಾಳೆಗೆ ಕಾಲಮ್ಸ್ ಅದ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಟಾರ್ಷನ್ ಟಾರ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟಾರ್ಷನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಗೀತು ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಟಾರ್ಷನ್ ಮುಗೀತು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅದ ಕಾಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ನು ಬೇರೆ ಕಡೆ ಇರೋಕೆ ನಾಳೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಫೋಟೋ ಹೊಡೆದು ಕಳಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ರೈಟ ಡನ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲೀವ್ ದ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್